there are some 12 volt DC loads that I want to be able to run off from this uh, 44 volt uh, power wall. So in order to do that, today we're going to add this step down converter and we're going to do a couple of other minor uh, tasks. By the way, it's a nice 63 degrees in the garage right now. I have not needed to run the heater or the air conditioner for two solid months. This thing has just been coasting and it's so nice being able to do that. These big battery chargers are for my electric lawn tools. I have a lawnmower that I've been using. So these guys have been charging up. Let's see what the voltage is on the battery. Look at that. The voltage is still 43.9. Ha! Isn't that crazy? For several weeks now, I've been charging my tools, and when I need to come out here and run a, uh, run a saw, I plug it into this guy, and it's only dropped three-tenths of a volt. That's amazing. I can't believe how much energy is stored in these batteries. We're not running fuse tests anymore, so I'm going to rewire it so that this circuit breaker protects the inverter. How cool is that? I got the circuit breaker directly on the bus bar. <laughs> nice. All right, let's flip this on. And now the inverter should be good to go. And it is. Next, we need to pick a place to mount this uh, step-down converter. This goes 48 volts down to 12 volts. I use these butt splices to make crimp connections between the, uh, the negative lead to come over here onto the bus bar as well as for the positive where I'm going to use a fuse holder. And now I'm going to uh, wrap these up with some more electrical. So I put a fuse in here for now. I don't want to leave it as a fuse setup. I want to do circuit breakers. So a circuit breaker for the inverter, circuit breaker for this guy, uh, along with the eventual larger circuit breakers for other items. So uh, I have it temporary. Uh, eventually I'll, I'll change that out. Uh, here's the step-down converter. Let's see if we have 12 volts. So let's see what our output is on the DC volt side. We have 12.2. That's great. Uh, so even though uh, the bus bar is only at 44 volts, this guy is still at 12. So that's that's fantastic. That's what just what we want. This is just temporary to test this out. We have the wire coming down from the computer fans. And there they go. Step-down converter works. We have a fuse center for the 12 volt. Uh, this guy's gonna need to change out. And we have our circuit breaker for the inverter. And I noticed it was warm to the touch. So I checked it with the multimeter. It's drawing about three watts. Now the three watts is not really a problem for me, but I am concerned that it's getting warm. I took a piece of angle aluminum that I had left over from some solar panel racking that I took down off of a roof, and I went ahead and cut it in half. So now I have these, these two chunks, and I can put these together, and I'm gonna slip these behind. Help take away some of the heat, hopefully. Well, all right, we got 12 volts out of a 44 volt battery bank. I was very pleased to see that the step down converter uh, put out a nice 12 volts, even though the input voltage was lower than normal. Maximum 240 watts because it's only a 20 amp step down converter, so you can't do a whole lot with it. Uh, but I don't need a lot. Uh, yeah, so it's coming along. If you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks.